peppered steak with tostones for dinner tonight. It is Thursday and it's June 4th. Now, this is how much the meat cost. It's $9.17 for this pack of meat. And I'm gonna go ahead and prep the pot that I'm gonna be, or the pan that I'm gonna be using. This is what I used for um, the saucepan or the cooking pan, whatever you wanna call it. I put some olive oil in the pot and I'm gonna let it warm up for like a minute and then I'm gonna add. Now, after I washed the meat, I rinsed it out with cool water. I proceeded to add two packets of the Sazon, Sazon Goya, which is right this right here. It's with um, coriander and anato con culantro y achiote. I added two packets, like I said, and then I proceeded to add half an onion, half a green pepper, and a handful of um, recaito or cilantro. And I proceeded to add some adobo, some adobo, all-purpose, this is the one I used, all-purpose seasoning, and it doesn't have pepper because Aura doesn't like pepper. That's, pepper is an option, that's if you want. I added some oregano, and of course, I added some of my homemade sofrito, which I have in this packet right here. I have in this bottle, I mean this plastic bottle, and this is what my sofrito looks like. If you want the link to my sofrito recipe, I will put it in the description box below or as a pinned comment. Now I'm going to show you how I put um, put it in the pot to cook. I have, it's already been like a minute and a half, something like, almost two minutes that it's been, the, um, the olive oil is being um, warmed up and I have the other half of the green peppers here and the other half of the onions here, which I'm going to save for later. But this is what I'm gonna I'm gonna mix it up and this is what I'm gonna add to the oil right now actually no sorry I'm gonna add the sofrito first to the oil and then I'll proceed to add this right here I like to keep it in a container like this the, the meat with the onions and the green peppers I like to keep it like that and, and let it marinate for at least half an hour to an hour prior to cooking so that all the juices from the onions, the green peppers, and the cilantro and all that, you know, it, it, it blends in. It all blends in in its own juice. So I let it sit there. Two minutes of the oil getting warmed up. I'm going to add uh, one cup, like I have here, one cup of sofrito, which is equivalent to um, two of these spoonfuls and I'm just gonna let it um, marinate in the oil I'm gonna let it cook for about a minute oh my god it already smells so good it already smells so good now it's been like simmering there the sofrito has been simmering for like a minute or two on medium flame now um, I'm gonna proceed and add the meat with all the onions and the green peppers half actually that's like I said earlier Half, of on, half an onion and half a green pepper and a handful of the recaito or um, cilantro. Now you mix everything up and you let it um, simmer for like two minutes in its own juice. You don't add the water yet. It smells so good. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. I'm going to let it simmer for like two minutes and it's going to start to produce its own juice and in two minutes I'll get back to you. Now, what I did was to time myself, um, I can do this in two minutes to slice the platanes, the platanos in the shape that I want for the tostones. It takes me two minutes to do so in two minutes I'm going to, um, I, when I'm done that's when I go check on the pot and I should have the juices all um, simmering and, and floating and dancing together in harmony in the pot. Now, this is the platano. This is what it looks like for those of you who don't know to make the um, tostones. And this is the goal. 
this is to cut them you have to cut them in this shape so I'm going to show you I put on gloves because the platane stain your hands I didn't want to deal with the stain right now I know how to remove the stain how to prevent it and all that but that's another video um, so I took the tip off and I hold the knife in an angle and I proceed to go to slice it down you see look that's how you the shape of the tostones and there you go and then you throw this part off the two ends and that's how you make the shape of the tostones and then now I'm gonna I'm going to add this entire can of sauce it's been by the time by the time that I finished slicing the platanos um, it's been two minutes exactly and that's how long I need it look at the juice look at the juices the juice this I, I did not add any water at all not one drop of water this is what you want to look for okay this is what you're aiming for you want it to saute in its own juices to marinate cook for two minutes with the onions and the green peppers the sofrito and the cilantro now I'm gonna add I'm, at this point I'm gonna proceed to add one entire can this is eight ounces eight ounces of the tomato sauce you add, you add the entire can you mix it all up and then you let it simmer in this now in this um, own juice right here for another two minutes okay so set the timer for two minutes what I like to do is I like to slice um, to peel peel the platano halves the slices that I did um, I'm gonna peel them and by the time by the time that I have um, them peeled by the time that I have these peeled then I should be back I was taking too long to peel and slice the platanos or the tostones so it's been more than two minutes and this is what it looks like the juices from the meat and also from the tomato sauce this is what it looks like now I'm gonna add since I'm gonna continue to um, work on the platanos I don't want this to burn so I'm gonna add two cups of water and this is two cups of water now I'm gonna mix it all up and I'm gonna put the lid back on and every five minutes or so I'm gonna check up on it and um, stir I'm gonna stir all the mixture up every five minutes or so I'm gonna check up on it I don't want it to alright guys so I already proceeded these are four platanos are in here you might need more it depends on how many people how many servings so that's up to you that's optional but I opted to use four platanos now I left the last piece to show you for those of you who are new to platanos you what I did was I cut one part and then I lift and then I proceed to peel and that's how you see and that's how I clean it's a clean cut that's how I peel the platanos now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna proceed to add some water to rinse this off I'm gonna to clean it up I'm gonna add some water rinse the water out and then I'm gonna put it aside I'm gonna close it up like this I'm gonna put it aside because the meat is gonna take a while so this is how, how I clean the platanos I like to do it this way a lot of people do it differently but I, this is the way I do it but this is with cold water okay I like to rinse my platanos or tostones before they cook I like to rinse them out and um, I let it sit I let it sit here until the meat is done and what I do is I add salt already to the water I add salt and I just let it sit um, so the platanos don't turn black I just add a little bit of salt move it around and while the meat is cooking I just let it sit in there until okay, it's been 15 minutes and this is what it looks like so far and um, 
I'm not gonna add more water to it just yet. All right, so I'm gonna wait another five minutes and then I'll add. It's been another five minutes, I'm gonna check up on it. And this is what it looks like. I'm gonna move it around. And I'm gonna add some more water. What I like to do is I like to test it to see how tender it is. I, it's still hard. It's been cooking now for like 20 minutes. This is 20 minutes later. And it's still not tender. The meat is still not tender. So I'm gonna go ahead and add another cup full of water. And then I'm gonna move it around. And I'll come back to it in another 10 more minutes. I'm gonna cover it and I'll get back to it. Right, so it's been 15 minutes from the last time I checked. And this is what it looks like. Okay, now I'm gonna cut one and it's still not tender. It's tender, but not to my liking. It might be to your liking, so you test it. And it, this could be done already if it's to your liking. But I want it to be a little bit more tender. So I'm gonna add one more cup of water. And I'm gonna check up on it in another five minutes. I'm gonna let it boil and I'm going to cover it and in five minutes of now it's been ten minutes later since I added water and this is what it looks like now now I'm gonna add the rest of the onions in here that was that this is the other half of onions and I'm gonna add the other half of green peppers I'm gonna let it saute in this sauce right here for about two minutes, two, three minutes. I like it with a lot of, a lot of onions and a lot of green peppers. The, the first initial batch of onions and, and green peppers that I added was so that it'll blend in with the juices and it'll blend in through the meat to give it that extra taste. But this here is just the icing on the cake, on the cherry, the cherry on the icing, whatever you want to call it. This is, this is just to give it added flavoring, more color to it. So I'm going to let it, I'm going to let it um, simmer for a minute or two. All right, so three minutes later, this is what it looks like. And I'm gonna turn off the flame. And it took exactly 45 minutes. This is 45, 45 minutes later, and this is what it looks like. And it has extra sauce in it in case um, the kids don't want the, the other sauce that I'm going to create for the tostones, which I'll show you later. Um, you can either use, you know, eat it with this, this sauce or use the sauce that I'm going to prepare. So, um, that's it guys. And this you could eat with um, rice, white rice also. You can make your beef steak burritos with this also. There's a lot of things that you can create with um, the pepper steak. So that's it guys, it took 45 minutes to do, exactly. Now I'm gonna proceed to do, now we're gonna do the tostones. I showed you how to cut the individual pieces and I also showed you how to peel it. Now, um, you put um, some oil in a deep pan or a pot like this one right here and um, you let it um, boil for like maybe five minutes. After five minutes or so, it should be done. If you see that, then it's done. You add, see you add the platanos. This is very hot. <laughs> anyway, you add the tostones, the platanos, and you let it fry until they're golden, light golden brown. About five minutes or so. 
so they're golden brown. This is what five minutes looks like. I'm going to take them out. I'm going to turn off the heat. I'm going to turn it off now because it's going to take a while. This is too hot already. So. Sorry about the noise, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you what I do now. Like this is a tostonera. This is a tostonera. This is what we use to smash the plantains. Now I'm gonna put one in here. Sorry about the noise, guys. All right, so I'm gonna put this one aside. I'm gonna put it in there, and then I'm gonna proceed to flip it over, smash it, and that's what it looks like, okay? Take another one, smash it, that's what it looks like. Take another one. get the picture guys I'm gonna keep doing this and I'll get back to you what they look like after it's done I'm gonna put it in the oil and they're gonna fry for like two minutes two minutes I'll get back to you it's been like two or three minutes and they are ready. Now I make sure that there isn't any oil, so I try to drain as much oil as I can. the special sauce that I use for the tostones um, I just it's very simple ketchup and mayonnaise that's it so here's the cup I'm gonna use um, two tablespoons of mayonnaise here's one and two now I'm gonna use two tablespoons of ketchup One, two, and that's it. And then I proceed to to mix it up. There's four of us in the house right now so I make single servings for each person and that's it that's what it looks like you go ahead and you dip it in the tostones and there you go or you can eat it with the sauce that, that I made um, with the meat and that's it guys Hello, and this is the end result. This is what the tostones with the peppered steak looks like. With the sauce that I made, the mayonnaise and ketchup sauce. And this is how she's eating it. She likes to put it on top and then she um, eats it. There you go. It's good, right? You give it a two thumbs up? Two thumbs up. <laughs>
and this is really good you don't need to eat it with a spoon or a fork or anything it's really good finger food right comfort food right but you're probably gonna need oh for that for yeah for the sauce yes so it's good mm -hmm. all right thank you guys for watching god bless and best